for Tampa Bay. Here's the punter Bradley Pinion on to get us started. And off we go from Tampa. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. Five-yard line. shot right away he rifles one that's intercepted Carlton Davis picks it and a big return will get him all the way down to the 35 they may have thrown the interception obviously less than ideal but I think they also sent a message that they're going to push the ball downfield in this one yeah not afraid to take their shots right away huh what was that like a 999 route nine meaning go just went ahead and went for it didn't work out so well because it certainly appeared the defense was prepared but I'm with you. Okay, so it didn't work this time. Doesn't mean we won't try it again later. And a short gain down to about the 33. Shaquille Barrett in on the tackle. A gain of two brings up second and eight at the 33-yard line. Throwing on second and eight. Brady looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Tampa Bay. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. And he'll try again here first and goal after the false start. Now Jones. And the Bucs are going to have a first and goal as some good running there gets him down to about the two-yard line. Knock it on the door. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. They'll try to run it in with Jones. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. That's a play to take note of there for the defense, I think, in the future. If you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. About a half yard from the end zone, third and goal. On the ground, this is Leonard Fournette. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. But when the ball snapped from the three down near the goal line, I think in days gone by, we thought many teams would run the football. But on third down in today's game, I expect them to throw it. A little counterintuitive there. They tried to run it. Instead, spilled for a loss. Had just the one big play on the drive, but that was enough to put him in field goal range. They have one big play of what they hope will be many others throughout the game. Every team has a different target for the number of plays like that, those explosives that we talk about. That allowed him to put points on the board on that drive. Let's we'll see how the rest of the game goes. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. And one. Brady to throw on third and one. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Levante David making his presence felt in the backfield. Brings up fourth down. They do go for it. It's Brady. 
and it is incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it, and that will force a turnover on downs. I don't know why you would do that. It's almost guaranteed points the other way. I mean, I get it if it's a late-game situation, maybe even fourth and inches, but boy, that's a huge risk to take. Yeah, now they're set up in prime position going the other way. Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up to throw. That is caught inside the five. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Tom Brady with a touchdown pass to Chris Godwin as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. And no matter how it comes about, when you get good field position, you have to make the defense pay. Short fields usually make for good offense. Extra point put through by Suckup, and the lead grows to 10 0. And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. Take over first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make a man. Mike Evans, he's going to go. The 30, 10, 5, touchdown, Tampa Bay. Mike Evans, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Bucs get the quick strike touchdown. And suck up on for the point after. One play. 80 yards, pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. At their own 20-yard line. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. And when you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. No gain on the play. Second. And right side, they're going to go option here. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. So that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job. Looking for Gronkowski, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Levante David. And he will be brought down, but he's got the interception on a final play of this first quarter. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. down carry by Jones open space inside the 10 and he's into the end zone touchdown Buccaneers a 21 yard touchdown run and the Bucs have taken the lead people always talk about one of his biggest strengths running the football vision and he found the spot there went into the end zone you're exactly right about that it wasn't just the vision right once he saw the gap decisiveness made up his mind and about the power to finish the play not only did he get good blocking he created his own space as well and a mistake a surprising mistake there in the kicking game as he sends that one out of bounds the Buccaneers in good field position here to start out first and ten at their own 43 a shotgun give to Fournette and he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And he's able to carve out about six there, down to the 37. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. 
Fournette running out of the gun. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. And brought down by Levante David. It's a gain of a yard. And it's third down. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Mike Evans, 36 yards. And the Bucs are going to retake the lead. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot at the end zone and made it pay off. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Touchdowns on back-to-back -back drives, so a very good flow right now offensively. Hard to slow them down, too, because they are locked in. Feel like the offense coordinator is a little bit ahead of the defensive guys right now. They're beating them to the punch with their play calls. They've got a nice rhythm they're locked into. How can the defensive guys come up with something that will disrupt that flow? That's what they're seeking right now. Well, it's been an exciting sequence to watch. On second down, it's Jones. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. From the gun on third down, Brady. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. Throwing on first down is Brady. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. The tight end Cameron Brate was the target. And that'll bring up second down. Brings up second and ten. Now a play fake. Brady. And his throw is incomplete. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. To Evans on the slant. Touchdown, Tampa Bay! Mike Evans with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Buccaneers have once again taken the lead. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. But big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, you know, okay, forget the field goal, because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. We have witnessed touchdowns on back-to-back -back drives. We'll see if the offense can continue this uptick here. And I know you're looking at me funny. You're wondering when I'm going to get upset watching these guys go up and down field, aren't you? I wasn't looking at you. I got something in my eye. Uh-huh. That's the excuse that you always use for something like that. Listen, I appreciate good offensive football as much as the next person when it's play played well and is skillful. I'm with it. And right now, this is exciting. Oh, the defender likes it. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. 
And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Tampa Bay. Ronald Jones, 65 yards, as his guys are able to regain the lead. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes, because that's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far. Fun to watch. At their own 25-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure, if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. Brady now on first down. This is caught by Antonio Brown. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Working from the gun, it's Brady. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. First down. Escaping the pressure right. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver. But it'll be second and goal. Second and goal. Now Brady again. Flushed out right. Godwin's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Godwin. Tom Brady, his third touchdown pass of this first half as they have taken the lead. Well, someone has a sense of the dramatic here, don't they? Scoring this late in the half to take the lead going into the locker room. Now they just don't want to misstep misfortune on the next kickoff because there's still a little bit of time left on that clock. Yeah, you do have to bring that up, don't you? In the NFL, every play is critical. If you give up something cheap there, all that advantage they just gained goes right out the window. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 32-yard line. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation... And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And how about this right out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. But gutsy call there. Yang's at the locker room with a lead. Tried the onside kick. It didn't work. And you just wonder what the gain was there. They were already in the lead. They were in control of the game. They may have given momentum now to their opponent and maybe kick-started things going in the opposite direction. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. The last run got six, now second and four. They'll go again to Jones. And a nice run. They're going to take this close to the first down marker at the Bucks 36. So from the 36 now, first and 10. First down. Brady gives this one off to Jones. And he's going to get this inside the 30. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. It's a gain of 10. First down, Buccaneers. On first down, it's Jones. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Vita Vea on the stop. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. 
at the Bucks 24 yard line. into the hands of his running back, Ronald Jones. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. It's a they follow the up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. third down going for Evans but that pass is intercepted picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. first possession of the third quarter an interception so maybe a second half tone setter indeed and not the tone they wanted to set that's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field a real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Brings up second and nine at the 13-yard line. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Jones, and he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Devin White on the tackle. That's a game of seven. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. Well, after an interception, last thing you want to do is go three and out, give the ball right back. They avoided that. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do that. I remember in college, I played with a really big-time player on defense. We ended up getting it. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. Recovering. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. But the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. That's right, baby. It's all touchdown, Tampa Bay. Chris Godwin, his second touchdown of the afternoon, and the fumble recovery leads to six points for the Buccaneers. I know we often laugh, and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. 25-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad thing. Looking for Gronkowski, and it's intercepted. It's Devin White, the linebacker, and his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. Well, look, we're watching a quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. Antoine Winfield. Antoine Winfield up from the secondary with a tackle. They'll keep it on the ground. Jones. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Back now in Tampa. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter.
The Bucks on third down. Two for five to this point. This time it's third and three. Now Brady. He's got Evans. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. And even 30 yards on a play that began back at the 30. Well, big plays back and forth just continue. Both offenses excelling. And I hear the excitement in your voice while you're calling this game. This hurts my soul as a defensive player watching these teams go up and down the field and put points on the board. Do me a favor the rest of the way. Sit back, relax, and just appreciate the offensive dominance that's going on out here. I'll give it a shot. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. And Dominican Sue makes the tackle. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine at the 40-yard line. Second and nine. Brady. That's out to his running back, Fournette. And he's taken down inside the 30. It's a first down on a gain of 10. It's a gain of 10. First down, Buccaneers. Now it's Brady. His throw caught at about the five. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Tampa Bay. Antonio Brown, 29 yards. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. 38. Buccaneers, 28. Bradley Pinion to kick off for Tampa Bay. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And yeah, the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And not much running room. Down to the 32. A gain of three, second down. A three-yard pickup. They'll run it again with Fournette. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where there'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them trying to keep them from walking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On third down, Fournette. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Third and medium, they opted to run instead of pass, and it worked, first down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now Leonard Fournette. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Tampa Bay. A 16-yard touchdown run. And the Buccaneers here finding a way to stretch their lead. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but... I'm looking at your face, and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. 
And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for Pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to. Now the defense loses him. It's complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 39 yards there, a big one. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. This is caught, Gronkowski. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. This duo locked in, 14 yards there, and a first down. Again, it's Brady. Eluding the pressure right. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Chris Godwin that time. But it'll be second and goal. Leads to second and goal. Free to throw again. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Tom Brady hook it up with Mike Evans there. And the Bucs are able to cut into that deficit. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. 35. Bradley Pinion to kick off for Tampa. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. Jacobs on the return. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. Getting down to the end here, they have a two-score lead. Barely, but it's a two-score lead, so that probably makes you as a coach feel a lot more comfortable right now, doesn't it, Charles? It does, but it doesn't mean now you go out and run option or some kind of wild double reverse or anything like that. But you do know that if anything does go haywire, you're still in control of this game. I want a double reverse, don't you? <laughs> I'm just waiting for that day where we actually see something like that in this situation. We'll see what happens here. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Here's Mickens to return. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened during the game in this sequence here. Maybe you hand it off and let someone run the ball if you, if you so choose. But otherwise, just kneel down, call it a day, and try and prepare going forward. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. Back to throw, Brady. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off around the 27. By the Buccaneers. They'll take over first and 10. 
at their own 27-yard line. They'll run on first down. Jones. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 